his side of the booth. And, and he beat Zest. And then beat Zest. Okay, like that's like next level. I'm like, I'm pretty sure my that up arrow couldn't be any more <laughs> up right now. Next be to like, his name. Yeah. Oh, I agree completely. It should be like two up arrows or something. <laughs> like it should be like three up arrows looks like a highway sign. That <laughs> tells you that we're about to go into like a junction. Should have like a rocket booster on the bottom or something. But that's how high he's going. He's going he's going in the space. It should be down. like a mushroom cloud that's like pointed upwards, yeah. man, because this nuclear bomb just hit. <laughs> this this guy deserves even more hype than we're giving him. He's actually playing so 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 well. Like yeah. his ID is about nine tail foxes, man. But he needs to change his ID to ship me ho because he's got ten tails now. <laughs> <laughs> he's grown another tail, man. Yo, wow, Cassia, that was a high level joke, actually. Dad jokes, hashtag it. Um, <laughs> now I'm no father, but. Going into the 3-8 record here for Cassia, he gets the sideways arrow. He's 0-2 versus Terran, so a fourth of his loss is coming from this matchup. We don't see too, too many Terrans too often. Let's hope that he can defend uh, against a possible 2 barracks all in, because Prime Zergs have been known to die to that in the past. That's very, very true. And uh, Gumi Ho is a very aggressive, very good multitasking, so I wouldn't be surprised if we either see high aggression early or we see like a Hellbat sort of timing, which he favors. Well, you know, I, I think it could be a Hellbat timing, honestly. Uh, well, the map is Merry-Go-Round. Good map for that. Big map, though. Let's jump into game number three. Find out if Prime is going to try to make a comeback here. <laughs> Are you okay, Wolf? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Up here in the top right, in the yellow for CJ Antis, the Terran player, he's looking on fire. He's Gumiho. And over here to the left side in the purple, coming off of that momentum, it's Cassia, former FOU player. Um, never played on the pro gaming team, but uh, was in the clan. Yeah, always in the clan, always a prominent ladderer. Yeah, he plays a lot of ladder. You played against this guy before Moonlight? Yeah, I played against him many, many times. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels all right. I mean, I played him quite a while ago before he went went into this sort of pro team sort of stuff. But he was he's pretty good on ladder. But I didn't like uh, I didn't well I didn't want to talk badly about him. I didn't think he was like anything crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, just laddering some games. Like when he beat you, he probably like uh, you know ran outside and called his mom. And, like, <laughs> no way! <laughs> he's like, I, it was the real Moonlight. I beat him. <laughs> no, dude, I, I play I play on barcodes, man. So no way he would have known. He sure. memorized your barcode, man. He's a fan. But it was it, that was a long time ago, to be fair. So he's obviously improved a great deal since then. Yep, definitely. Um, no proxies. Except the proxy wolf in the casting desk. That's right. Hidden at the back in the salmon. Uh, <laughs> What We're was it? Hatchery? <laughs> well, you know, proxy comes from, uh, in this case, for those of you who don't know, people always wonder, like, why, why are you proxy? What is a proxy? What is a proxy? A proxy is, is actually, proxy is short for proximity in this case. It's not actually yes. proxy as in something standing in for something else, which is what a proxy actually means. But it's it's what um, people said on Battle.net to shorten the, the term for proximity as in close by. So that's where right. proxy came from. Right. So I'm a, I'm a proxy wolf right now in that I'm closer to the audience, closer in proximity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're actually in the audience. Yeah. I'm like, I'm an in-base proxy, proxy right salmons now. right yeah. now. <laughs> These sa the salmons have infiltrated the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> that idea, man, before of casting from the crowd is actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I, I really like that concept. We could have like two people at a desk and one person in the crowd. That would be so cool. Yeah. We who who's the most social of the social butterfly here? Who wants to like go around and start I'll talking? I'll be the crowd guy. Maybe it's yeah. Wolf. I yeah. could be the crowd guy. Right, you can be the crowd guy. I just like speak only English to the Koreans too. Like, <laughs> the what, so what are you thinking now? <laughs> no response. <laughs> They'd be like, what? He goes, what I go? <laughs> <laughs> um, we well, saw. Okay, well. Build order so far. We kind of see the standard hatch first, but the delayed gas. So he's not going to get like the fastest kind of zerling speed. Playing a bit more defensively. Kind of worried about any sort of like proxies, proxy uh, marine sort of uh, two uh, two racked rushes or anything. So he's playing a safe conservative style, which is I think probably the best idea against Gumiho. But uh, it's going to mean uh, the Reapers have a little bit more freedom. Yeah. Th so what what we're going to see here. Um, I think from Cassia actually is a big heavy commitment to Lings. Uh, and trying to get early map control with those because this is how he likes to play the matchup. Like he likes to go heavy lings even in this matchup and just kind of run them around and counterattack. 
Mm. Uh, he he lost, I think, one of his games to a proxy. The other game, I think he lost, he lost to, like, a timing attack, where yeah. he just, his multitasking just, like, did not stack up to, like, yeah. just that first move out with the Medivac, so, like, just killed him. He just, like, didn't have enough stuff, and he didn't micro well. Well, well I mean, this map, especially in these positions, like, it's actually would really favor some sort of timing, because they are very close to each other. So a timing from either player could do a lot of damage if the other player is not really ready for it. Yeah, especially at that third base, you know, you got a Terran army, just has to go over that one base there in the middle. And you just get right to that third base of the Zerg. If he decides to go for that one, I don't think he will. Mm. Yeah, well, he's very aggressive. Yeah, he's really committing to try to poke down these Lings. Um, and no Queens just yet, so it's really hurting him. Is this me or those Lings, the Queens feel like a little bit late? Like it seems like they should be out by now? I guess he made a little bit later of a pool. Yeah. Uh, that gas. Well, it, they should have been out anyway, so it was surprisingly late Queens. I, I, maybe he forgot one? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, well, there's now three now. There's, there's three, so I don't know. They're just really out nice of Nice trap here, actually. He's going to get both Reapers. Yeah, that was kind of a way too big of an uh, overcommittal for the Reapers. Yeah. I don't know why he had to go in so deep. Oh. Aww. Aww. Date night. Date, Date night, night at the Pro League, League studio. Yeah, it's the place to be, guys. Sunday night, no work. I'm bringing my no girl school. here. No school. Yeah. It's time for yeah. a Pro League date. If I wasn't casting, I'd uh, I'd bring my date here too. Yeah, especially if your date likes StarCraft, man. Yeah, that. Oh, that if your date make doesn't sense, like yeah. StarCraft, well, she, she wouldn't be a date if she didn't. Well, here's the thing: if your date doesn't like StarCraft, <laughs> then clearly she never. She, no, she never saw StarCraft before. So. Well, then I. Then I'd so let then her it's date. like actually an even better date night. You bring her here, then she's gonna go home liking StarCraft. Well, that's that's. What girl has ever looked at StarCraft and been like? Yeah, no, I didn't really, I didn't really feel it. I was, you know, it's kind of like complicated. No one. That never happened <laughs> ever. Probably a lot. <laughs> That's why the crowd has so many girls in it. They're man. Like, probably like, no, I like kind of like League of Legends better. I'm like, you're that you're never dumped. happened ever. You just slap her in the face and no. leave. you're like, no, you just, you just leave her. It's not okay. <laughs> you just slap her. That's when you look at her and you go, you're not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a girl. <laughs> we see Roach Warren going out, so we could very well see a uh, kind of like a. Fast third hatchery, Roach sort of timing, applying some pressure, denying any sort of uh, hell bad timing, which is kind of essential. Yeah, you know what's matter. funny is it's hard to be a caster in this matchup right now because we see a Roach Warren, it could mean it's just defense. Yeah. This is actually embarrassingly wow. bad, though. This is like, oh, oh. This is, this there's is, no defense here. There's one queen. Those drones oh, are lining up. Oh, They're my God. Up. Oh, one my more God. Hit. Oh, my God. This and is not supposed to happen. This is kind of like, gentlemen. yeah. Well, he should have known. Like, there's two types of. Uh, uh oh, they're really low. Oh god, getting more and more kills. Oh. Nineteen. Uh, all right, there's two uh -oh. kinds. There's two kinds of Hellion users. There's the ones that are YOLO and the ones that are defensive. That kind of like deny or creep. So like, basically, there's like Kumiho is the YOLO, and there's other users. Yeah, Kumiho, and then there's everyone else. And Kumiho will always run by. So unless you have like a good amount of Zerglings with speed or uh, a good sort of sim city to block the front of your natural, he's going to get in there, he's going to wipe out your drones, and that's exactly what oh we man. saw. And that's actually completely game-changing sort of damage. And those drones, a lot of them are really low, and here comes a follow-up Banshee, a second one on the way. It's actually kind of game-ending damage. Yeah. Yeah, like, this is like... 19. Now up to 22. He's actually about to have... He's, like, about to have more drones than Cassia has. Like more work, right? more SCV. More SCV. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And he can definitely follow up with a great timing from this. And these banshees is going to do work. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see Hellbats followed up too. Yeah. Well, all he needs is an armory. Yeah. Uh, he might no already roaches, have it. not a single roach. Yeah. He might actually already well, have. Yeah, he yeah, does. He's got it. He's got it. He does have it. Yeah. This is. Um but their base is not looking good. No, I don't think we have. Do we have any roaches on the map? I'm not entirely sure. I think we there was any. two. We got yeah. through. Yeah, two. That's. <laughs> I mean, that's. Two Banshees are going to make short sure work of that. No. So this is going to get very painful. It could be a GG here. Well, we'll have to wait and see exactly. Well, unless Gumi no, like gets bonked twice, I don't know, man. Yeah. Just knock him out. like. Oh, these drones are going the wrong way. Uh, oh, this, big I mean, lineup. He's actually, you know what? That was a pretty stellar defense there, I have to Managed say. Managed to slip through just in time. 33 drones have been killed there. Gumi is going into mech behind this. Uh, one... Uh, Super oh, yeah. diligent Marine over here is going to go to work on that Overlord. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, he's going now to the natural. Uh -oh. That one Roach is like, <laughs> no! It's like, not Come again! Back! Not again! <laughs> oh, this is going to be, could be very painful. Didn't get the perfect lineup again. Going to go into the main, though. Straight up. Just uh, one queen here once again. This, uh, that Spore Core, let me tell you, not going to do a whole lot here for him. No. 
Although he didn't get many kills just yet with any of these. But it's just like there's so much lost mining time. Exactly. It's it's like oh, oh and two guys, dashes. I lose the hatch, baby. Oh boy. See, Kimi Hart just in complete control here. Kimi has even scanning the creep and like killing the creep while microing his Hellions and his Banshees. His drones are coming to like. He's like, maybe the drones will tank it. Doesn't maybe even buy matter. some time. Doesn't even matter. The transfuse. He's got transfuse. He's not using it. Okay. Right, guys, Whoa. Okay. Oh my God. Cloak not yet done yet. Muta follow up. Mutas could do some work here. We'll have well, to wait and see exactly. Oh, three got... turrets, a Thor, yeah. and a, even a Raven for auto turret. All right, he's fine. Well, that's embarrassing. And a supply drop. Ooh, forgot, forgot Sponsored by CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Still supply blocked, actually. Making three uh, supply depots here. You know what? Cassier isn't too far behind in supply. Only 20. So it's like, okay, all right, he can kind of get back in in the CV, gets enough drones up, and kind of gets enough to deal with the push. But I feel like the push is going to be the push like, is going to be hard. He doesn't have banelings. He doesn't have banelings. He's okay. Now starts virtual. the nest. He's listening to the cast. He's just like, oh yeah, I'm right. you're right. I mean, right, honestly, well, like the the, the uh, Thor's alone can almost no kill the roaches. Roaches. Where's the overseer? He's, He's gonna focus gonna lose on the hatch. This time, I he think. very well you lose this. Where's the overseer? Where's the overseer? It was made over here. Uh, There's no queens for transfuse. And down goes the hatch. Wow. Luckily he made a fourth. Wow, place. talk about not clutch talk timing. Talk about not Ehan timing <laughs> on that overseer. Indeed. Talk about wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Timing. Talk this about dead hatch. Yeah. Hashtag now, dead hatch. <laughs> Now Cash is trying to go to go for an attack with a bunch of these roaches, and he may get some damage here on the outside. But the big army of Gumiho is going to come over. Whoa. Did I cancel the CC so he's he can like, get through faster? He's like whatever. He just does not care. He does. I don't think he really has to with this. This point. banshee's still alive, by the way. Oh, uh, these roaches cornered. Cornered roaches. They can kind of like pick off some of this army. There are no tanks so far. Looks like he's just going for like mass Thor. He's like going to play it safe and just like. Yeah, you start making two many, now, but make as many Thors as roaches are, or something. Yeah, I mean that's basically the point we're at in this game. He's gonna have plus two, uh, by the way. Yeah. You know, before one one's even done, uh, that Banshee has plus one. Yeah, doing some damage. No spore at this base. Has cleared uh, more than fifty drones now. More harass over here with the roaches, mm. trying to even up the count. Oh, Banshee gets out again. No, fifty-four drone kills. Wow. Up 40 supply now. Kumiho looking in a commanding position. Yes. I feel like once he gets a What's good number of What's his secret tanks, missile? What's his secret missile? Oh, that roach ate it. <laughs> Bam. He opened up his big mouth and just swallowed it. He split it away at least. Took it for the team. Swallowed it. <laughs> swallowed it whole. Swallowed. swallowed it, man. That roach doesn't spit, no. No. <laughs> All right, Tank so. Tank gets picked off. I mean, Vikings are killing Mutilus. This is a problem. This is a big problem. I don't mean to sound. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I think Cassia might be in trouble here. These Banelings could do something if he gets good hits on the Hellbats and Marines, and there's something to clean up the Thor. He needs godlike hits. Here it goes. Uh. Secret missile going down again. By the way, on his own Raven, or what was it even on? I, I think <laughs> like a, I even a creep know. tumor or something maybe. I, I mean, don't think you can target structures. I mean, with, with well, the you can you can missile. target your friendlies. Uh, you can kind of like, I know a uh, trick is you can seek a missile like a medivac. Oh, medivac and boost it in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Maybe he was trying that. A couple of tanks get picked off here. Yeah. Roach is doing some work. More tanks on the way going to get picked off. He's actually definitely, you know, putting in his best effort here. Yeah. Not, not the most, uh, uh, well, GG. Definitely not the cleanest attack, but it just didn't matter. Gumiho is way too far ahead. Yeah. And he takes game number three. See Build Dantis. order loss against Sue. You beat Billowy. I beat Zest. I forgot hit in the head. And yeah, I, I was not surprised with those results at all. Gumiho like, just looking way, way too good. Like, this guy's on fire. If if he's a ten-tailed fox, I don't know how to upgrade the towel Terran here. He's well, like he's like the blow dryer Terran. He's, he's the side <laughs> Next Terran. level. I like the side He's Terran. evolved. Now. Yeah, I like the side duck Terran. He gets whacked on the head. Gets it gets angry. Yeah. So what? Is he the gold duck Terran now? Because he's just like on <laughs> fire. Ah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, uh, I, I just, I gotta say, like, that was pretty, that was pretty YOLO with the Hellions, but he was like, wait, no wall? Oh. Let's see. It's, like, perfect opportunity. Like, if there's no, like, speedlings, no. and, he, like, yeah, I mean, it, it's a perfect opportunity. He basically just strolled in the base. Like, he was just, uh, he was on a Sunday morning Casually. drive. 
And look at this, with that 3-0, she's Antis right now, 4-0 oh. in a gigantic lead. 